no matter if you're a boss player or a golfer at the top of your game, this might be the car for you. Just don't be a lame. I've got a 1976 Cadillac Seville here in approved autos, fully customized by Hollywood car builder Bill Cushenberry. He took this four-door hardtop car, chopped it in half, and turned it into a two-door convertible that's completely awesome. Let's show you this thing. Starting off at the front, I love the front end of this car. Look at this. This is the type of a vehicle that only a true boss can appreciate. Whether that means you're the boss of McDonald's or the boss of wherever, this is a car for a boss. In 1983, the uh, gentleman that I got it from took it to Bill Cushenberry. He had Cushenberry Customs here in Bakersfield, California after he left Hollywood. And um, he gave this car to him and commissioned him to turn it into a beautiful convertible. And it's exactly what he did. It's very well done. The uh, guy that I got it from, he used to drive it to car shows. He's um, it's been in his possession since prior to 1983 when the work was done. But he's driven it over to the wine country. It's been, you know, driven it to the coast. And uh, let's fire it up for you. being a very cool guy was that he kept his car the way that it was. I mean, everything is uh, it's factory original under the hood. We just recently uh, replaced the heater core because uh, it had been bypassed years ago, so we did put that back to how it should be. Service the air conditioning, um, did the valve cover gaskets, just, you know, kind of brought it back up because this is a car that's really worth keeping nice and bringing it back up. Don did a really good job of keeping the body um, and the overall vehicle just preserved. He kept it indoors and he had a lot of pride in this vehicle. This is a certificate of authenticity. Uh, just saying that Bill Cushenberry from Cushenberry Customs is who completed this car back in 83. And uh, up here we have a picture of one of the Hollywood cars that he was involved with doing. Um, one of the other more notable things was that he helped George Barris with the building of the 60s Batmobile. So Bill Cushenberry, he was a big deal when it came to customizing vehicles and um, you know, like kind of stretching the limits of things. Look in here, um, on the upholstery, they modified this. It used to be a higher back chair. They chopped it down and reupholstered it. You can actually feel part of the old uh, neck in here in the upholstery. The uh, top, it's been replaced. Whenever it was first done, it was a white vinyl top like this. Um, at some point, not too long ago, they uh, went to a place and they got it redone. It's black. Now it still looks great. Um, the And it's, it's manual. It's not hydraulic or anything like that. I want to show you something that I thought was cool. It's got the uh, telesco telescoping uh, steering wheel. So, you know, if I was really short and wanted to bring it closer, I could, but I'm not. So, let's. Uh, so here's uh, the badge for Cushenberry cars. That's really cool. It's fun with getting these older cars uh, when you don't know about people and you, and you get to learn as you go and that, that's really what I've been doing. I, I locked that already. So I'm going to pop the trunk and show you. Thank you, James. So it's nicely lined and very, very snazzy red carpet, which I think is freaking awesome. If you could 
catch kind of a side shot because when you know he was doing the modification, the uh, obviously the frame had to be modified. So when we got it, um, there was no rust or anything like that at all. We went ahead and just cleaned up the uh, you know the frame where he had modified it, strengthened it after cutting it. Really happy with how that turned out. Oh, it says fasten seat belts. Let's fasten them. I'm gonna go for a drive in this thing. This thing runs really good. I love the look of the uh, windshield. There is uh, very little that is better than hopping out in traffic in something like this when you're uh, looking you know, into a world of automotive clones. As we get closer to everything being electric and in my opinion, super boring, I think the desire to have something like this is just gonna be more of a, it's gonna be more of like an actual need for people because this is an identity car. This is a car that says so many different things. It says whatever you want it to say. To me, it says it's a piece of history that someone loved for the last, I don't know, 40 years or so. And I was fortunate enough to have it handed off to me. When I drove away from his house, I turned around and I waved at him. You know, his relative that helped him sell it called me later and said, you know what, he wasn't going to sell that to just anybody. And I let him know that I would be putting it up for sale, which kind of surprised me that he would say that. But I think just the fact that I was going to put it in the shop and fix the little things that had gone unfixed in the last couple of years as uh, Don was getting older, I think that meant something because, you know, I appreciate this car. And it's going to be my goal to hand it off to somebody who also appreciates it and uh, continues to maintain it because this is a car that deserves to live on. I will say that one of my least favorite things about the car is its appearance when the top is up. I'm not in love with the way that it looks with the top up. It's all very clean. It's just the design isn't, you know, it's not, I don't know. This is a car that's meant to be driven with the top down. So, not a big deal. I would just always have the top down. Oh, I was going to point out to you all the power windows, the door locks, all that works. The, um, yeah, it's, I've been driving this car for like the last three days. But just back and forth to work, running errands. See how nice and smooth this thing is? We're heading back to the shop. Uh, this is going online for sale. You can reach out to us at approvedautoca.com. You can call me at 661-631-2277. Um, you know, just hit us up if this is your your style and you want to talk to us about, you know, maybe owning this thing. We can help with uh, shipping. We've uh, arranged shipping for a lot of different customers. We also have a lending institution that will land on classic cars. So that's another big thing that we've done lately. And it's huge for us because for the last several years, I've dabbled with old cars, but it's been limiting because I've had to do cash deals. And with being able to actually finance these for people, it's made it much, much easier and more fun too, because it opens up to who I could sell these cars to. So. If you have questions, comments, whatever, 
you know, hopefully you'll leave us a uh, comment. If you like this video, we're going to have more uh, vehicles coming online. You can subscribe and you'll be notified of when they come on. But this is, again, a 76 Cadillac Seville that is just kind of one of a kind, very rare. And if you're also one of a kind and very rare, this might just be the car for you.